feel about steroids? Well, steroids, it's just uh, enhancement. Same shit, you know. What I, I don't have nothing against it because it's a sport. You know, a lot of people take it to uh, another level, so you can knock on that. You know, a lot of people, they're, they're extremists, you know, so, and they use that. But another thing with steroids, I've seen a lot of people at the gym that, that supposedly use it and you still have to you have to be knowledgeable on that too you have to understand how to take it you have to understand that you still have to eat in a structured manner you still have to be disciplined you nutrition still has to be on point or else you're gonna look like shit you're gonna look, look misproportioned i see a lot of people that that i'm like well fuck man if that shit did that to you i'm not gonna do it that's what kind of you know because i'm not i'm not re very knowledgeable on that shit you have to uh, know how to fucking take all that you know shit because uh or else he'll fuck you up you know i i see a lot of people that fuck man once they're off of it they're like fuck i i can't do it without it i'm like fuck well fuck you never even look great to begin with you know like what did he really do but i guess it's, it's mental and shit you know so people that you know want to really get into that they better make sure that they do their research and get laced up correctly you know so they won't fuck up their body because uh a lot of people that do this backyard boogie shit or they're fucking uh you know uh black market with with just somebody from the fucking uh from the gym or from the streets you know what really are you well, what are you getting there you know that's why there's doctors that's why there's clinics that you could go there and and you know uh be more educated in that manner you know but same thing you know don't just think that by fucking uh you know putting a needle in your fucking uh, uh and your fucking arm is gonna fucking blow you up you know you still have to put in the work either or you know it's not nothing magical have you ever it. used steroids no i haven't fucking no because i don't know so all that it was like like i said to me, when I seen my body changing with nutrition alone, because that's all I was missing, first of all, you know, like I said, I built my body with just eating whatever the fuck I want and then working out. But to a certain point, like I said, I felt like shit, I plateau. I was just like, like people will see me and they'll be like, wow, you're on swole, big dog, boom, you know, but I, yeah, but I, I couldn't take out my shirt because my stomach will show and I wasn't really, I was my uh, my wind was in there you know so i know nutrition was key so when i started fucking going deeper in the nutrition and seeing my body change my six pack popping i'm like fuck man well what's my full potential that i could do just by doing this you know like and that's where people they want to jump phases you know right away that well fuck the nutrition if i do steroids i'll probably get there quicker and that's the problem you know so to me i just the the side effects that they say and all that shit it's just kind of like ah you know well me i was always like i haven't really got where i want to be and i don't even know what i could do naturally and and and, and uh just with with my body my natural body and and by eating and working out you know why would i want to skip you know why would i even want to try something especially that i don't know and i seen people that i'm like wow i look way better than this guy and this guy says he's on it you know, so it, it hasn't really uh, crossed my mind yet, you know? Yeah, but I, would you consider it? Uh, I mean, I would, like I said, I wouldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't say, you know, like I haven't reached my full potential where I could be like, okay, well, that's all you're getting, yo, you know, like you're, you're maxed out, you know? I, I still feel changes. I, I still feel like, a, obviously, I ain't no fucking bodybuilder. I mean, when I go to these fucking gyms, uh, I hit Ghost Gym in Venice. I mean, these motherfuckers, they'll, look, they'll make me look like I don't lift weights, you know? But I feel healthy. I feel better. So I don't really, like, like I don't really, like, to me, that's more like competition. If you really want to, like, do it for competition or, or, or to compete, you know? But me, I'm just trying to be healthy, look good, feel good. And uh, then, then it'll just be a whole different fucking uh, kind of worms that I open. If I was to do that, it's like, damn, man, I, I don't know. I'll probably be fucking really, uh, really huge where people are going to be like, oh, fuck, yeah, he, he's on it. You and think then those guys use it? And then you scare people away, you know? You think those guys use it? Well, genetic has a lot to do with it, you know? Because if, for example, me, I'm a buck 95, you know? To me... To me to get, you know, and, and all my team, all my people that have transformations, we're actually losing weight, you know? When you use an enhancement like that, you're actually fucking growing, you know? You're moving up, not lower, you know? So you're just fucking converting muscle, building muscle quick, quick. So 
you know, uh, and, and a lot of people got to understand, like, well, the, that I get here, and they're like, I ask them, how tall are they, how much they weigh, how old are they, you know, because I, I, I know where they're going to be at, you know, and they're like, oh, well, I want to be 220, and I'm like, well, you ain't going to be 220, because you got about 50 uh, pounds of fat, so you're going to be maybe about 160, oh, well, I don't want to be that small, you know, like, fuck, I, uh, I feel small. When they start losing weight, they start getting scared. They're like, that's Whoa. your stature though. Yeah, I'm like, that's your structure. That that that's what you got, big though. That's your frame, you know? For you to be 220, I guarantee yeah, you're gonna have to be doing other shit. You know, there is no fucking way that you're gonna do it naturally. That's just straight up. Even people that I heard that that because there's natural uh, uh natural competitors that that they do the competition. But to be a pro bodybuilder, they'll they'll tell them straight out, oh, you'll never be a, a pro bodybuilder. Not natural, you won't. There's no fucking way. Even them guys, they're, they're these high-end gurus that are into fitness will tell you that your frame will not pull that weight naturally, you know? That's when you... you so you have to read between the lines, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of... You know, it's very common in sports to use steroids. Mm -hmm. And we see it all the time, especially when it's competitive sports. Mm -hmm. You know, a uh, bodybuilding, a baseball. How many stories have we heard with the baseball players taking supplements? Yeah. You know, hitting all these home runs and come to find out that they're using steroids. Yeah, yeah. Some supplements, you know? Yeah. I think it, it'll always be that way. Yeah, I mean, like, I, yeah, I mean, that shit's, you know, it's here and it's not going nowhere. You know, a lot of people, they, they always, uh, you know, they, they find ways, you know, to enhance, uh, you know, their performance, you know. But like I said, you know, I see that as like, okay, well, that's their, their, their sport. They're, obviously, they got to perform. And people, they, you know, them guys are fucking wear and tear on their body and all, and all this and that, you know. Like, to that level, it's like extreme to me, you know. So, but when people want to come in from fucking, you know, where they're at and they're like, oh, well, I want to be, like, they'll, they'll look at this fitness model on IG or anywhere. Well, I want to be like that. I'm like, well, do you even fucking know what it took to get like that? Like, you ain't going to be like that in no fucking overnight, big dog. That motherfucker's been grinding for 10 years, and who knows what he uses, and who knows what he does, you know? Like, you cannot just say, oh, I want to look like him, and and, and uh, that's 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 my goal, you know? It doesn't work that way. No, man, you, you know, you're going to look how you're going to look for the work that you're going to be putting in, you know? Like, and that's what people don't get, you know? And that's where people get... Uh, misguided you know they'll see that, that their fitness model big ass motherfucker they'll try to do his same workout they'll try to eat like him and uh, wrong everything wrong like why will you eat like him he never ate like that to get like that you know obviously probably he's eating more now but people got to read between the lines because you know you you will never get a look to look like him by the way you're eating you know because you're not there yet you know you have to fucking cut first and then build your body and see how far you take it, you know? It's frame, big dog. It's the frame, you know? I got, you know, you know, people that, okay, they're 6'2", they're 300 pounds. Obviously, I know this guy, he'll probably be 220, but his frame, his height, you know? That's more realistic. But when I get a 5'7", five 5'8", five you know, me 5'9", uh, it's not going to happen, you know? There's no way. You know, like I said, I was 240. I had to take it all the way to a buck 70, 170. And I was used to being huge. You know, I was used to, you know, walking around, filling up my white T-shirts and I felt small, you know, but I knew that was my frame. You know, that's what you got, big dog, you know. So when we start taking the way off, we see where, where you're at. People think they're losing muscle. You ain't losing muscle, big dog. That's what you got. And that's what I had, you know, but and I had to just fucking... You know, pay the piper. Now I'm working. Now I'm working my way up. But I've been doing it for a while already. That's where people don't equate that. You know, and and look at I'm a buck ninety five. I tell them, fuck, I I would want to be two hundred. You know, I want because we always want more. Yeah. You know, but fuck, I gotta work towards there. You know, I mean, obviously, if I eat, I'll you know I won't have the look and feel good. But I could, I know I could get that size. But that's not the point. The point is to get, you know, to look good, feel good. At the at the size that you you feel comfortable, you know, because right. that's that's what it's all about. But it's gonna take time, and that's where people fuck up on the timeline. They want it now. Everybody's impatient. All good things come with time. A hundred percent. Yeah, nothing nothing easily is obtained, you know. And that's why people quit. That's why people crack because uh, 
as soon as they don't get it, you know, they just, they throw in the towel, you know? And that's where I got to fucking mentor them and lace them up that, nah, man, how long did it take you to get there, you know? How long did it take you to fucking feel like that and look like that? About 10 years, I let myself go. Okay, so what makes you think that in fucking, uh, in one year, you're going to be this fucking, in the cover of a fucking uh, bodybuilding magazine, you know? <laughs> and and they're like, oh fuck, you know, like exactly, you know. So we gotta unmake all those years of bad eating habit and all that shit that you created. You know, it's gonna take time. I mean, but we, like I said, we could look amazing in 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 fucking in a short amount of time if you know what you're doing. You know, so you won't have to go through all those struggles. You know, you don't have to go through all that fucking trial and error, you know? So if it took that guy 10 years, it might take you five years, you know? Because at least now you're being guided correctly, you know? Yes. 